Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. During a sustainable enterprise tour of one of the 24 businesses that form part of construction and engineering firm Murray & Roberts' enterprise development program last month, the company said it subcontracted between 70 and 80 percent of its building work, while its enterprise development program held tremendous possibilities to sustain and grow many smaller and developing contractors. Anine for Muirland reports. Large corporations like Murray & Roberts have a meaningful role to play in small business development and with South Africa celebrating 20 years of democracy last month, the company reflected on what it had achieved over the past 20 years. The program started in uh, 2009 uh, where we had uh, maybe seven um, enterprise development companies and Murray & Roberts has gone from compliance to commitment so we've now currently have 24 and the 24 companies employ over 281 people so to me that is is phenomenal you're getting people work and and that's the future of south africa Mayat explained that the company had progressed from compliance to commitment in terms of enterprise development and that its 24 enterprise development programs range from small to large businesses our plans are to to maintain what we have and to add on and to build on that um, so it's not necessarily only construction we are looking at suppliers we're looking at creating our supplier chain um, and adding them to the program as well. So we're not stopping in 24 and hopefully in a couple of years time we'll have more. Women-owned construction company Stefina Projects has been part of Marion Roberts' enterprise development program since 2000 and has been involved in numerous road and steel construction projects. You know, you feel proud too because it's a male-dominated area. It's not an easy industry. You have to be tough. You have to know your story and uh, you'll succeed and especially if you ask questions they are willing to teach you and to help you that's crema media's real economy report join us again next week for more news and insights into south africa's real economy